This is our last video in the series 2020 Vision for the year 2020. Uh, next week, after Ash Wednesday and the beginning of Lent, we will start a new series entitled Recovery from Shame. Uh, last week, I introduced you to my very favorite uh, Broadway musical, Les Miserables, and the character of Fantine, who sings this very, very sad song entitled, I Dreamed a Dream. I had a dream that life would be so different from this hell I'm living, so different now from what it seemed. Life has killed the dream I dreamed. We talked about the fact how life can be very brutal, very cruel, and we can have a dream, we can have a plan for our lives, and that dream and that plan ends up crashing around our ankles. And last week, I promised you that I would show you a woman in the Bible, much like Fantine, who fights the tigers and loses. You find her story in John chapter 8. Let me read just a small portion of that. Jesus appeared in the temple courts where all the people had gathered around him, and he sat down to teach them. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought a woman into this meeting, brought a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and they said to Jesus, Oh, great teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of adultery. In the law, Moses commands us to stone such a woman. What do you say? Have you ever wondered about what this woman was feeling, how she was feeling standing there, probably mostly naked, in front of her accusers, in front of the crowd, in front of the first century paparazzi? Could it have been that even her husband heard the disturbance and came and found his unfaithful wife as the center of attention? Maybe even her two small children came and couldn't understand what was going on with their mother. The embarrassment, the shame, the anger, the disgrace, the humiliation, the brokenness. How could I have let my life get to this point? How could I get this? I never meant to end up here. Can't you hear this woman singing Fantine's song? The tigers come at night with their voices soft as thunder as they tear your hope apart, as they turn your dreams to shame. And some of us today know what it's like to have our dreams fall apart. How did I get here? Why didn't my life turn out the way I thought it was going to turn out? How did I get so far away from the life that I had planned to live? When did that enjoyable diversion become an enslaving addiction? And even though we try to hide it, we try to find ways to cope, some of us have this inward awareness of the agonizing fear that what we had planned to accomplish in our younger days is never going to come true. And so for you and for me, for those of us who may be feeling desperate, uh, so confused, so lost, so embarrassed, so broken, so disappointed in ourselves, so I don't even know where to start. And it is for people like us in times like these that we need to remember that the good news of the gospel is that even though the struggles of life may have killed our dreams, we serve a God who is greater than any failure that we may have experienced. We serve a God who can bring hope out of hopelessness. We serve a God who raised his crucified son on Easter Sunday morning to be the conqueror of sin and death and hell 
and the grave. And so this Jesus says to this woman caught in adultery, John chapter 8 verse 11, I am not here to condemn you. I am here to free you from this old life, this old failure, these old tigers. I am here to free you to dream a new dream. Go, find this new life. And so friends, the good news for today is that no matter what kind of failure we have experienced, you and I are free and empowered by the Almighty God to dream a new dream. Can I say that one more time? The good news for today is that no matter what kind of failure we may have suffered, we are free and empowered by God to dream a new dream. You want to dream a new dream? Let's do that. You're in my prayers. God bless.